Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how Julius Malema is at it again. And I'm explaining this. He recently did an interview with the BBC, and he talked about there's going to be an upcoming uprising in South Africa that's comparative to the Arab Spring that took place about 10, 12 years ago. Now, first of all, South Africa has a democratic system, and these people in South Africa's government are democratically elected. And that includes you, Julius Malema. You are a member of Parliament of South Africa's National Assembly. So it's different. But then he said that whites are going to be the first target, and there's going to be a few black elites that are going to be targeted as well, which is basically calling for a threat, calling for a violent threat to certain groups of people. Now, South Africa does have a problem. It does have a crisis. It does have an impending danger. Julius Malema is right about that. But Julius Malema is the impending danger. He claims to be a champion of the poor, a champion of the working class, but he has a $15,000 watch he wears a lot of times. He has mansions. He has parties with expensive liquor. He's also been caught embezzling money in the VBS bank scandal. Him and his right-hand man, Floyd Shavambu, this is not, and he's basically, and that was a bank specifically designed for the poor, and he's embezzling money. He has called for the trashing of click stores. Some of his supporters threw a Molotov cocktail in a click store. And yes, before I go any further, there were some foolish racist ads that clicks kind of had. But at the same time, it was a black owner and black CEO that approved those ads. And yeah, so Julius Malema is calling for violence. He has fired a gun, a loaded gun with real bullets over a crowd of supporters one time. Now, a security guard who happens to be Caucasian took the gun away from him after he did that. So Julius Malema has been, um, has put his supporters in danger before by doing that. He's blessed, we're blessed and fortunate that, that, um, nobody got hurt from him firing those bullets over the crowd. Um, but also at Winnie Mandela's funeral, he, him and his supporters had assaulted a police officer. Well, his supporters did. Well, Julius Malema has been tried for that as well. He's also being, he's also, he's constantly on trial for everything. Hasn't been convicted, but he should be because it's pretty obvious that he's guilty. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless him. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.